I find myself quite offended. I don't understand. You're not facing reality. You've spent two million. Yes. I need a drink. Hello. Nice to meet you all. My name's Michael. I am an inventor. I am also a director of Go Bubble Limited. I'm here today to ask for 200,000 in return for a 5% share of the company. Go Bubble is a two-part system that seals and preserves an opened bottle of champagne. This is the closure. It goes on the top of the bottle. Once locked in place, this second part, a carbonator, is inserted and twisted. That operation, the initial injection of gas, forces the air already in the bottle out through a vent in the side. The bottle is now perfectly preserved. The market for this. Every bar, restaurant, hotel, who sells champagne by the glass. Each glass as good as the last for just 20 pence. We've got over 200,000 outlets in the UK alone. Just a 7% penetration of these would realise a net profit of three million pounds. Since 2012, sparkling in the UK's consumption has increased 80%. It's a bit of a revolution. I'm saying, let's join that revolution. Let's make some money. And to finish, I would like to serve you out of a bottle that we actually opened nearly four weeks ago. Michael Gormley hopes he'll have something to celebrate once the dragons have sampled his champagne preserving gadget. Sorry, it's only so little. <laughs> he wants 200,000 pounds in exchange for a 5% share of his Go Bubble business. Good health, Dragons. Cheers. Good investment, Cheers. more to the point. Will an investment sparkle for Tuka Suleiman? Michael. Yes. You're, you said you're an inventor. Yes. Tell us about how you got here. Um, I was in the forces when I was young, mending helicopters principally, a lot of work on gas turbine engines. So that, it sort of gave me that brain. Uh, and had the idea initially of creating something to keep cola from going flat. In the course of the development of that, this came up. Mine isn't as bubbly as I would expect it to be. Um, let me tell you, our sales director is a wine connoisseur. He has one of the best noses in Britain, apparently. In, he assures us that this does the job. This has travelled with a prototype top on. You've come up with a valuation of, is it, you wanted 200,000 for 5%? That's right. So four million pounds? Yes. So I'm assuming a valuation of four million pounds must have some sales? No. We have put it in places, but it's a prototype product. You've put it into places? How many? Five in total. I'm okay with people investing in a business where it's pre-revenue. I understand that model. How much money have you raised for, the, for this business? Two million to date. Huh? You've spent two million? Yes. Where did you get that two million from? Private investor. And he said, I really like the idea. Yes. And he, his company has invested two million pounds? To date. And how much of that two million is still with the business? It's all spent. So you've spent the two million? Yes. Who owns the company? He owns 90%, I own 10. Oh. OK, and is he here waiting to come in? Uh, no. Why? He's on holiday at the moment. <laughs> you should have brought your main investor here. You've got a 90% shareholder that's not here, um, and that's, that's a big thing. I need a drink. Michael's admission that he owns just 10% of a company that's already soaked up some serious cash is a sobering revelation. Now, Tej Lalvani, chief executive of a multinational brand, 
wants to know who's the boss at Go Bubble. Who's going to run this business? Myself. Seriously? Seriously. Sorry, have you had experience running a business? Uh, I have a property portfolio, yes. Property portfolio managing tenants. That's a very different thing to launching a new product. You have no orders. You're not facing reality. Do you really believe that you're going to get an investment today? Uh, I was hoping you'd listen to me, but so far no one has. The, the model is, is actually based on the cartridge sales. And it's the repeat sales from the cartridges that generate the money. And that's why it's clever. Michael, I find myself quite offended by the fact that you've um, said to the dragons that we're not listening. And I haven't actually said anything yet. You believe in this, and invention is wonderful. And we have to have inventions to actually land the thing that makes uh, a success in the end. I might have said to you, love this, go into invest. I'm really sorry, I certainly didn't mean to be. It was only because I wanted to explain the cartridge. You believe in this, but this is absolutely crazy. I think the bubbles have gone to a lot of people's heads. And for that reason, I'm going to say I'm out. Jenny Campbell bursts Michael's bubble by failing to finance a deal. Has the air gone out of an investment for the other dragons? OK, it's lovely, beautiful looking. It's the type of thing I'm sure I would love to own, mm -hmm. you know. But you haven't even got the patent yet, have you? Yes, we have. Oh, you've got the patent. I thought you were in process. The British patent is applied for, and then the next stage is to go to European. No, applied for. Have you got the patent? Is it granted? Um, the... Mm. The predecessor of that is granted. So this does not that. have a patent on it. But it will do effectively. Yeah, but it hasn't. You've got a prototype. I do not understand how you think you can value this at four million pounds. It's really quite simple. There, there really is a market out there. It's not a good idea. I'm actually quite smart. Just so You'd you know, I'm quite so am I. smart. I see a lot of businesses, I see a lot of businesses that have got patents applied for, and I see the values based on those businesses. This is about the potential. The product is six months from production, at six which point months. we can start selling. Six months from production? Yes. I'm going to say these words to you. You've got a prototype and you don't have a patent, I'm never going to invest at anything close to that valuation. So, I'm out. Michael, you mentioned that you're going to run the company, but with, with 10%, you can't run a company if 90% is owned by someone else who's not here. I, I actually think you're wasting everyone's time. So I'm out. Four dragons have now put paid to Michael's investment dreams. Only Peter Jones remains. Will his verdict leave the entrepreneur toasting success or drowning his sorrows? Your product seems brilliant, but very niche. So I understand you picking on perhaps a Michelin star restaurant where they would want to offer perhaps a 50 pound glass of champagne. Yes. And your product, I can see, fits that bill really well. Yes. But that market opportunity is small. 1,500 units first year, 4,000, and then 8,000. That is a very small proportion of the market. And we only need those sales to realize the 3 million net profit. So it's a win-win. Do you know what, and I, 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 I'm not gonna disagree with that. But you've basically put the cart before the horse today. I can't invest in this because you've got nothing at the moment to invest in. So, I, sadly, I'm out. So, a full five rejections for the champagne entrepreneur. The dragons failing to raise a glass to his investment opportunity. I wasn't trying to insult them, it is a start-up business. I was trying to tell them about the potential it has I believe in this product. I think the dragons are missing a trick. To my mind, this is going to be the biggest they've ever missed.
He should have given us a bottle each. That's what he should have done. That was his only <laughs> chance. Feel better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.